I have finally completed my move from Edmonton, Alberta to Ottawa, Ontario, and I am settled in this 1980s house, and it is definitely a fixed wrapper, but the first thing I'm going to do is deal with a bit of a water issue that I noticed. I was running the air conditioner pretty much throughout the day because it was very hot, and I noticed that the floor drain was backing up with water. I'm going to be using some vinegar, some baking soda, and this water was boiling a few minutes ago. Obviously, it has stopped. So those are the three things I'm going to be using to ensure that the floor drain is at least clean. This won't help me if there's any uh, damage to the pipes, but if it's just a clog, this will definitely work, and in the end it does. So I'm going to throw about five liters, uh, give or take a little bit, of the boiling water down the hole just to loosen everything up. You should use hot water because it breaks up grease a lot better than cold water does. The next thing I'm going to throw down the drain is some baking soda. This is Arm & Hammer, but the brand name is not important. Now that the baking soda is down the hole, it's time to add the vinegar. As you can see, uh, baking soda and vinegar definitely can turn this thing into a volcano, so you got to sort of pour it in slowly. Um, it's okay if it bubbles over as long as you've got a concrete floor that you can just mop everything back down the hole. But obviously you don't want a whole bunch of this uh, drain water coming back up and you can see that it's not exactly pretty. Obviously the previous owner had not been cleaning this thing and they've probably let it sit for about 30 years without actually doing any maintenance on it. Now I do a few cycles of this even though I'm only going to show one. I put about half the container of the vinegar down the hole and then I just do the whole process again with a, another pot of boiling water, push that down the hole, put more baking soda in, and then put the rest of the vinegar in. After I've done the cycle twice, I just get a few pans of hot water and start throwing those down the drain as well, just to help push all the vinegar and baking soda and hot water right through the pipes. And in my case, it seems to really do the trick and in the end it starts flowing much faster. So there's an example of uh, too much vinegar down the hole in one shot. And as mentioned, it's a good idea to have something like a mop handy, uh, like this push one that the previous owners kindly left me beside the drain, uh, just to push down any of the water that may come back up when you throw a bunch of vinegar and baking soda down the drain. I think what I've learned in the first few days of living here is if an owner has not been doing maintenance on the things that they see every day, they're definitely not doing the maintenance on things like this that they don't see. So if you move into a new home, I would recommend taking a look at some of these sort of hidden things. After I've done the water baking soda vinegar cycle twice, I'm just going to take a few pans of hot water, uh, kind of push all the, the dirt and debris back down the hole so that I don't have this vinegar smelling mess on my floor. If you're down in your basement and you need some hot water, it could be a good time to test your hot water tank's pressure release valve as well. So I'm going to do that and everything seems to be working fine with the pressure release valve. Now you see from the previous pan I poured down, it was kind of standing near the top. Uh, moving down slowly, but now I could throw a whole pan down there at once and it doesn't back up in the slightest. The other thing you can test is the lower drain valve on your hot water tank. This will also help get some of the crud that accumulates at the bottom of the tank out of the tank. There is a hose fitting so you don't have to catch it in a pan, but whatever. And once I got the water off the bottom of the hot water tank, just throw that down the hole as well. And as you can see, straight down, doesn't back up in the least. In the event that this doesn't work, perhaps I'll have a new video coming out shortly on how to snake your floor drain. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.